welcome back to the channel welcome back to the other video ios 18.1 developer beta 5 is out the update size is about 925 mbs as you can see the update size depend upon from which ios version you are coming which iphone you are using also if you're seeing a huge up size over here you don't need to worry about that it is going to overwrite the whole um, os so no needs to worry about the size so if you want to install the 18.1 beta 5 update what you need to do is simply go to settings go to journal go to software update and over here what you need to do is you need to go to the beta update section then select the ios 18 developer beta just like this go back and now you will see the update now this beta includes an initial set of features powered by apple intelligence to try the apple intelligence beta join the waitlist in settings and you will be notified as soon as it's ready for your device while the apple intelligence features are only available for the iphone 15 pro and 15 pro max so i haven't updated to this version yet but i definitely will update this version but for now, I'm going to talk about that how the 18.1 is going on because I'm using 18.1 from a couple of days now and I'm enjoying the performance and the battery life. I don't have issues with the 18.1 anyway. Well, talking about the changes in the 18.1, if you go to the control center, then to the connectivity. Now, the connectivity um, page is completely changed. Now, the design is changed. This is how the new design of the connectivity looks like. Being very honest with you guys, I think this new design is much better. It is easy to control your main um, connectivity uh, features over here. It makes everything very easy. I think this is a much better option over here also call recording is also available for every other iphone um that supports the ios 18.1 in my previous video i did a call recording demo you can go and check out my channel and you get to know about that you can save your call recording in your notes and it will also give you the transcription of the call recording something like this it is a really useful feature it tells the other person that call is recording because that is an ethical way to record the call but yes call recording is also available and it gets stored in the notes over here if i go to the key of messages over here then the keyboard over here the emoji section over here now the emoji section and the sticker section are same they are combined together stickers are in a little bit a bigger size and emojis are also in a bigger size so now they are in exactly in the same size as you can see there is a no extra section of emojis as you can see in the recent tab over here both are together over here as you can see i don't know i have mixed feelings about this i really like to keep my emojis and stickers um separate but in this update they are together i don't know apple is going to continue this let's see also this search emoji bar is now more curved as you can see from the previous one now moving to the uh, more changes now the calculator history is over here the menu comes from the bottom it is also changed it is because of this swipe features before this it was not um uh, possible to apply the swipe swipe features because of this one but now the swipe features works perfectly and now it comes from the bottom and i think it's the better one because these features are going to be a very useful especially the copy one that is also really cool so this is a small change in the calculator application with the ios 18.1 Talking about more features, definitely there are Apple Intelligence that is only available for the 15 Pro models and the newer iPhone. The main reason is behind that 15 Pro models come with a more memory, higher and better processors and Apple Intelligence need more memory to run properly. So that is why that are only available for the 15 Pro model. I was thinking that if Apple can't bring the Apple intelligence features to the older device, they can bring at least the Siri um, animation to the older device, but Siri old animation now looks odd because there is a new animation for different iPhones for the main iPhones, but same for the older one. Maybe Siri 2.0 is not coming to this device just an animation can make a lot of difference being very honest with you guys but that is my take what you think about that let me know in the comment section below yes again 18.1 beta 5 is out definitely it's just a beta i don't suggest you to update to this one i will say that please wait for 
the public update that is going to release in October. I do believe that this might be going the last beta and might be we are going to see RC in next week or maybe week after that. And maybe we are going to see um, 18.5 around 18.1 around 7th of October or maybe 14th of October. I am predicting it. I will talk about the release date in um, upcoming videos. But for now, I believe they are going to come around maybe second week of October or maybe the third week of October. More chances are high for the second week of October. As today is 23, might we see um, RC update over here and then the public release over here of 18.1. I'm not sure what you guys think about this. Let me know in the comment section below. So I'm using 18.1 for a couple of days now. And if I talk about the Geekmas score over here, going over here, this is the Geekmas score of 18.1. As you can see, 23, 22 on a, multi, uh, on a single core while 56 55 on a multi core if i compare the single core with the average iphone 14 single core is really good and multi core is also good if i show you more scores over here um this single core score is almost the best it is better than 18.0 being very honest with you guys and multi core score is also quite decent so in terms of Geekbest score update is really good no issues at all and in terms of battery the device is also working really good if I go to the settings, go to the battery section over here to show you the battery. Let the battery stats load last 10 days. Maybe on this day, as you can see, I use my phone for almost 70% uh, and the screen on time is around 5 hours and 38 minutes where I use Instagram a lot, WhatsApp a lot, Pocus uh, cost a lot, YouTube a bit and this app was running in the background so I can use Twitter because Twitter don't work in my country. Well, if I go for today, as you can see, I used around 60% of my device today and screen on time is quite basic. It is decent one with Instagram, Facebook, uh, Me Fitness, Pocket Cast, again in the background used a lot. If I talk about this Facebook time, I was continuously watching videos and videos do consume a lot of battery. So I can conclude that the, even on the 18.1 beta update everything is going so far really good i have no issues at all performance is good battery life is good everything is quite decent so if you want to update on 18.1 i will suggest you to wait for the um, october update wait for the public version because once the public version will out you can update until that you can enjoy the 18.0 that is what i suggest well, that's it from this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.